Many face the same fate, working hard their whole lives, yet earning a spot on the hospital bed in the end. Unfortunately, three statements from the hospital is enough to make you go bankrupt. You have a serious illness. Nevertheless, we will try our best to cure it. However, you should know, treatment will be costly. Then. Three statements from the bank only make things worse. We really understand your situation, but rules are rules. If you can't pay, you'll have to file for bankruptcy. Actually, before you become bedridden, you can listen to three statements from healthcare experts to change your destiny. You are your own doctor, the best one. The kitchen is the best hospital. The best medicine is food. In this world, you can have someone drive your car for you, earn money for you, and even spend money for you. But nobody can take your place in sickness. You can virtually recover anything that has been thrown away, but there is something that would be gone forever if you throw it away, and that is life. One of the richest men in Asia, Jack Ma. Once spoke of an anecdote: If you put a banana in a stack of cash in front of a monkey, it would choose the banana because it doesn't know that money can buy lots of bananas. Today, when we put wealth and health in front of people, many choose wealth. Surprisingly, but did you know you can't buy health even with all the money in the world? People ruin their lives by the misconceptions they have. And by the time they enter the operating room, they have an epiphany: nothing is more valuable than health. Wealth with health is an asset. Wealth without health is an inheritance. Most people spend the remainder of their lives depleting their life savings, but in the end, they still can't buy health. What's even sadder is. They leave a massive mountain of debt upon death, burdening their loved ones and posterity. But you resign yourself to a fate like this? You may think that you are perfectly healthy right now, but the collective experience of human society has taught us: death doesn't make an appointment. Rising football star Ernie Davis died at the age of 23, after being diagnosed with leukemia. He was never able to play a game in the NFL. Elvis Presley died at the age of 42, suffering from a heart attack due to drug abuse. Jazz legend John Coltrane died at the age of 40. He had liver cancer. How many of our family and friends have left us? Only we ourselves know. Just because you feel strong today, doesn't mean that you'll still be strong 10 years later. Many deadly chronic diseases begin to develop from the slightest damages. Today, you still have a chance to prevent them, so why not save a pound of cure with an ounce of prevention? If you don't pay attention to healthcare today, you are destined to pay your healthcare bills someday. 80% of those who don't invest in healthcare will spend all their life savings in the last few years of their lives in the hospital. And leave this world in pain and sickness. In this world, 95% of the population die from illness. Only 5% die from natural causes. Don't think that it'll never happen to you. Don't be blindly optimistic. You have to know, many patients lying in hospitals today had those kinds of attitudes when they were young. Health. Is so essential to us. We must be careful not to go beyond the point of no return. Not only inflicting pain upon ourselves, but also burdening our family and children whom we love, forcing them to spend time and money on a patient. Do you want to spend the last half of your life bedbound, or do you want to be like Dun Dr. Mahathir, who was elected prime minister at the age of 93? Your destiny depends on your decisions.